Welcome, user. You, humans, have been dreaming the arrival of driverless cars for a long time. Well done, Firebird 2. You're now under automatic control. Hands off steering. Lane. 60 years later, and we are seeing some serious work being done by major companies like Ford, Toyota, BMW, Tesla, Google and a lot others to ensure that a driverless future comes sooner rather than later. But do you need that kind of future in the first place? and why it's taking so long. The only purpose of an automobile is to transport humans and other objects from point A to point B. And a human was always needed to operate this process. And you are the worst at driving. Case study. Tesla. Every new Tesla ships with 8 cameras, 1 radar, 12 ultrasonic, sonar sensors, and GPS, providing a 360 degree coverage around the car. All that information will be processed in real time by the world's first supercomputer, exclusively designed for self driving cars. What about the software? Well, here is where it gets tricky. All the information provided by the sensors is pointless unless the supercomputer is capable of understanding what is really seeing around. And artificial intelligence is the key. Using machine learning, the car can improve itself by watching a human driver. Advanced computer vision is able to understand the difference between a car, a bike, a pedestrian, and to predict their movement using information from previous trips. Every Tesla is part of a network. The information that they collect each day from our driving habits is stored on the cloud. In other words, if one car learns how to take a sharp left, each and every Tesla in the world will be able to take that turn by itself. I think autonomy is extremely important. Um, and I think in the long term, nobody will buy a car unless it is autonomous. It will be like having a manually operated uh, elevator or something like that. Enter autonomy levels. Level zero autonomy means the human driver has full control of every aspect of the vehicle all the time. The car cannot do anything for itself. Level one means that a specific function, like accelerating, can be done automatically by the car when needed. Level 2 is when at least two functions of the car are autonomous, usually being cruise control and lane keeping. Level 3 involves transferring control from human to car in certain conditions. The driver must still be present, but can pay less attention than in a level 2 car. He is still responsible for every action or inaction of the car. And this creates a gray area that can cause uncertainty about who is actually in control. That's why a lot of companies try to skip level 3. Level 4 is when things start to look futuristic. The system is still switched on and off by the driver, but once enabled, the driver is not required to pay attention. The vehicle is able to drive itself in almost all cases. On this level, the responsibility drifts from the driver to the automaker. In level 5, the driver is only required to switch the car on and set a destination. A vehicle this autonomous will be able to drive itself in all weather conditions. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is promising that his cars will have the potential for level 5 autonomy by the end of next year. And he is not the only one making promises. 
even Apple, seems to be joining the game. The technology industry generally suddenly seems incredibly enthusiastic about getting into the motor industry. We've obviously had Google with its self-driving car. Right. Do you see uh, that continuing? And do you, do you see Apple building a car and that maybe being a threat to you? Well, um, I, I think I, I, I would encourage uh, more participation um, by whoever it is to create electric vehicles. Um, it, it's, it's quite hard to do, um, but I think uh, companies like Apple will probably make a compelling electric car. It seems like the obvious thing to do. Are you betting that that's going to happen? Have you heard anything? Well, it's pretty hard to hide something if you hire over a thousand engineers to do it. So you think Apple is serious about it? Yeah. I do. <laughs> this is an open secret. The race for the driverless car is looking interesting. Let's see what the future reserves. Thanks for watching. See you next time.